Right, hello everyone. This is a short video about using the Ableton Live feature Collect All and Save, which is extremely useful. So I've got a, a default session here with nothing in it, um, but I've got an external hard drive plugged into my machine. So I'm going to go and find, um, I'll tell you what, I'll just find um, anything, any file. I'll bring this in. So this file here, this sound is part of my session, um, but it currently lives on an external hard drive. And so what I need to do is find a way for to move that file to a project folder. So let me just show you the issue. Um, this is my file here. I'm going to um, save the live set um, and it'll ask me to give it a name. So I'll just call this project one and I'll put it on the desktop so we're going to go and have a look at it in a second so there it is project one um, let's go to the desktop here it is so this is the project folder and rather confusingly it's called project one project but that's because Ableton Live will put the word project in your project folder automatically and um, so this project one is the name that I've given it and then project is the is the word that Ableton's put in and then inside this project folder, we've got an ALS file, which is an Ableton Live set, and then this thing here that you don't need to worry about. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to live and I'm going to quit. And then this is my external hard drive here. I'm going to eject it. And wait until it disappears. It probably thinks that I'm still using um, that file, which is why it's taking a little while to eject. Come on, there it goes. All right, so I'm gonna open up that file again, project1.als, that's the, the project that I was just working on. Okay, and straight away we get this orange warning messing. Oh orange warning message. Media files are missing. Please click, click here to learn more. So I'll click there and there we go. That's the file that I dragged in from my external hard drive. And because it lives on my external hard drive, the live session can't see it. Okay. So the way that you would get around this, if you do have this problem, is what you have to do is you have to think, right, okay, well, where did that file come from? So I'm going to reconnect my external hard drive. And here um, on search folder, I'm going to uh, press set folder and then I'm going to navigate to my external hard drive once it spins up and the uh, system can see it. There it is. Um, and it was somewhere in sound libraries. And I think I just dragged it in from the first folder. So, oh God, right. Okay. I'm just going to, I'm just going to ask it to search in there and that's quite a big folder. So let's see if it'll do it. So it's now looking through every single file on uh, in this sound libraries folder, and there are lots. So it might take quite a while. So this is the way that you would try and fix the problem if you haven't taken steps to not have this problem in the first place. And what I'm going to do next, after hopefully this file is found, is I'm going to show you the steps that you need to take to not experience this problem, because you don't want to have this problem. It's not nice um, when you don't know where files are. So. What Live is doing when you have audio files in your Ableton Live set is it's, it's referencing your audio files wherever they happen to be. Now, some files will be in the core library, so they'll be on your machine. Some files will be on external hard drives. Um, some files might be on, on your desktop. They could be anywhere. Um, so next, what I'm going to do is show you how to get around it. This I'm just going to cancel this. This could take um, any amount of time. Um, but that would be the general workflow that you, the way that you would try and um, find files if you've if they're missing. Select set folder, find the folder where you think the files might be, and press the automatic search button. Right. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do now is um, let's start a new project. Okay, um, and I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, it was on SFX libraries. That's why I couldn't find it. Tell you what, just out of interest, let's just see if we can find it. 
because I was searching there in sound libraries, not in SFX library. So I was looking in the wrong folder, which is why I couldn't find the file. Okay, now it's found at this time because I've got the external hard drive connected. Um, so I'm going to quit and I'm going to eject the external hard drive again. Just give it a few seconds to think about it. Now that it's gone, I'm going to run project1.als. This is the Ableton Live set. Okay, and again, media files are missing. Click here to learn more. All right, so let's set the folder to the right folder this time. Um, I need to reconnect my external hard drive. SFX libraries, wasn't it? And it should pop up down here some sometime in the next few seconds. There it is. Okay, SFX libraries. And if I just give that a few seconds to spin here, it was in 8-bit SFX, I know it was in there. Okay, so we'll click open and then we'll click search. All right, it's found it. Okay, one new candidate was found, one missing sample was replaced automatically. All right, so that's the file that it was looking for. Now I can click save down here. Your changes were saved successfully and we're back. We've got the file, okay? So that's the way that you would try and fix the problem. Now, let's look at the way that you would avoid having this problem in the first place. And we can just do it with this session. So let's bring in a few more files. I'll bring in that one and that one and that one. Okay, so these are other files that we're using in our session. Now this time, when I go to save, I'm not gonna go to save live set, I'm going to go to collect all and save. All right, so now it asks you to specify which media files you want to be copied into the project. Files from elsewhere, files from other projects, files from the user library and files from factory packs. Now it's up to you what you select here, but as a general rule, if you're not sure, just leave yes selected on all of them. That is gonna mean that your project folder file size is bigger than it would otherwise be if you didn't select all of these. But who cares about file size these days, really? It's not really an issue, is it? All right, so leave this on yes, um, if you're not sure, and then select okay. All right, now you might have seen a very quick dialog just pop up there. And what that very quick dialog was doing, if we go back to, so this is our project folder. What it was doing is it was creating this samples folder and this imported folder, and it was copying these files into the samples folder, okay? So these files are copies of files that live on the external hard drive, but now they live in the samples folder, which is inside the project folder. So now if I quit this session and eject the hard drive, now when I run this project, this Ableton Live set, Now all the files are there. Okay, so that's the way to deal with Ableton Live projects that you might be moving between machines or between locations, all right? Always use collect all and save and you'll never lose anything.